Good morning. It's the August 17th meeting of the reuse committee of the city of Northampton. And, uh, we can take any public comment. I think everyone here is officially a voting member of the committee. So I don't think we need Barbara. I'm not. Okay, Barbara, you're public comment then. I'm the public comment. Yes. <laughs> Do you have anything roll. to contribute? Okay. Uh, Take a look at your husband. Hi, <laughs> Barbara's husband. Did, uh, did everyone get a chance to look over the minutes from the July 13th meeting? Who else needs? Uh, while people are going over those minutes, uh, let's have a recenter update. Show uh, and tell time. Okay. Good. Good. Always remember to look inside when oh. you accept things. <laughs> this is a crackpot that yeah, had insert, yeah. and it just reminded me as we were working yesterday that sometimes you have to take things Thank apart a little bit. Too you know? grubby. It didn't. It's yeah. rusty. But it didn't have the liner with it. No, it has the liner, but it's, well, it's pretty rusty. The, the, the outside of the crockpot might have been an indication of what's inside. That's not in great condition either. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's rusted. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, yeah. I mean, it's metal. But it is, it is recyclable. It is recyclable. Hey. <laughs> Hooray! Okay. okay, question of the week. Does anybody no. know? I, I now know what these are. Let's see if you know. Snowman knows. Did, did Dennis know? <laughs> Dennis uh, wasn't there yesterday. <coughs> brake pads. Weaving things? I go brake pad. What, what, what? Say again? Brake pad? No. no. Mm -hmm. Can we have a what does it mean? Can we have a closer look? Are they just all like that? It's like a little, little toy of some kind. It's like a uh, composite stone. A lot of those. Composite yeah, is actually stone. Asbestos. <laughs> no, it's, it's, a, it's a ceramic material, actually. So ceramic. It's it like, a specific use? Is a liner of something? You're getting close. Okay. What is it lime? It's actually for a gas grill to spread the heat. Oh, oh, you put it on top. No. They're nice. called they're called grill dominoes is what they're called. Oh, okay. So, okay. Anybody has a gas uh, grill? Well, I guess they work in theory. So Mac, how, how does that how does it work? Where do you put the dominoes? You put them on the on the surface of where the gas is coming up to spread the heat yeah. and around instead of mm. having to come up and burn stuff. Like you have a flame okay. spreader on a gas stove. Yeah. All right. So that's what that is, anybody? That's wow. Yeah. You can see how okay. useful they were. They didn't use them. <laughs> and the door prize for this week is the Veggie Nativity Playset. Oh <laughs> veggie Tales. That was probably a really hot seller that veggie one year, you know? You probably yeah. couldn't keep those on oh, the shelf. Oh, it seems. Wow. Is that the same year that the um, tubby, t Teletubbies came out? Oh, that's, that's like an ongoing toys. thing. My, so, my brother's you know, family. So that's the right. December toy exchange, right? This is going into our new kitsch museum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so, right. so, well, we had a great, uh, great day out there yesterday tidying up. I, I have to say, I wondered if we're going into the gym business because there are three yeah. large pieces of exercise equipment there, and I'm going to I'm going to respectfully request that we Hold decline on. those because <laughs> when we're cleaning up and moving things around, they're they have to be moved. They're heavy. They're a pain. Yeah. They're generally recyclable, and I did recycle two of them yesterday. But they also just don't tend to move very quickly. Well, that's why people get rid of them. Yeah, they, they take up a lot of their own space. They're heavy. Yeah. They're hard so. to use. Yeah. Oh, we just set up our own gym. Yeah, right. <laughs> just come in early and. Um, so do you do you want to talk a little bit about our meeting with Jerry? Or? Sure. I don't know that I have our. Um, Minute, uh, my well, notes. I, I'm good with the minutes, by the way. Um, we had, a, we uh, were finally able to connect with Jerry. Can't, can't, I forget his last Kendall. name. Kendall. Kendall, thank you, from the Salvation Army. And we had a really nice meeting. Our, our, the, the, the goal was to, to find out more specifics about what they don't want because we're giving so much to them. So we wanted to be able to build that in so that it's less of a problem. And um, he showed us around, and we were once again really, really impressed with the job he does with waste reduction. He is amazing. He has actually found a buyer for single shoes. Wow. <laughs> wow. He sells single shoes. He sells, you know, the rag stock stuff that he can't sell, uh, clothing, textiles. So we can put shoes in the Salvation Army box? 
single shoes. I think it says that. Or, 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 or pairs. Or pairs. Or pairs. Yeah. Or pairs. I mean, it's a loser, I mean, loser leg. It, it was, you need a shoe. Mac, I, I, I think I can speak for you. We, we, were, we were just both awed. I mean, at this guy. He's just, and, and not only has he got a real commitment to not producing waste and getting paid for as much waste as he can, so it's, you know, waste, quote, <clears throat> but he has a really wonderful attitude with his team and he said that he took a they offered him more money than he than he, they offered him more money for this promotion and he said I will take less I want to pay my team members more and he's just uh, his management style is impressive he kept giving all of this uh, all these kudos to his team he's we were just awed did you go to Salvation and Army or was he We went the in Springfield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. right. Um, he said that. Uh, Mac, you taught him well. <laughs> <laughs> Good modeling. <laughs> he said that, um, that ch kid stuff, I mean, the stuff that we were, Mac can go through the list, but the stuff that we were. Do the stuff that we're we're doing well. Essentially, he can take tchotchkes. He, as I as we told you before, has also found a source to get rid of. He calls brick brac, which is all the tchotchke stuff. He actually has a source mm. in another country. All oh. those little knickknack things <coughs> that are unchipped and even the chipped things. He has somebody who's buying those from him. Well. Not for a lot, but. Yeah. I mean, it's it's incredible. I mean, yeah. it's really incredible. And um, so the children's stuff, he still doesn't want, except for clothing. Right. You know, toys, games, yeah. he doesn't want those things. He doesn't <laughs> want, um, you know, exercise equipment type stuff. But sporting goods is stuff is good. I'll, I'll let I'll let. Yeah, it's Matt mostly talk. mostly sporting goods and household mm -hmm. stuff is what they're taking. Um, a couple of things. It, interesting to hear what they other things they don't want. They don't want any custom items like blinds. Stuff that's, you know, or even crafts. I mean, that was we were talking about coffee crafts and stuff like that. Uh -huh. those, those custom things are. They also don't want any items that require assembly, which is a, is a thing that we've kind of discovered too at the recenter that a lot of people won't take stuff, it, unless it's already assembled. They just stay away from it. They don't take any items that are involved with any kind of a product recall, and that includes strollers, car seats, cribs. Even he said like jogging strollers, there have been some recalls on some models, and they just stay away from all that. Um, they take virtually any kind of used fabric, as long as it's clean and dry, except for, we talked about old nylon, like old nylon tents, for example. Nylon is a difficult fabric to recycle, and they don't take those. They interestingly, they they will take old vinyl um, records. So we can some sometimes mm -hmm. have a lot of those, and haven't all want to do them. They will take those all vinyl, as well as all DVDs and CDs and books. Um, they do not take uh, VHS or cassettes. Eight tracks? Oh, in, in, the past they <laughs> that. in the past, they said that they would take VHS if they were Disney, and this time he said, you know, mm -hmm. so VHS would go um, The other thing that we that I wanted to clarify with him is when they're going to come to the recenter, because as you know, we've had problems scheduling and making sure that, you know, we get ready for them and they don't come, or they come at 8 o'clock in the morning when we're not ready for them, that kind of thing. So he agreed to try to, uh, and, and the other thing is some, sometimes the truck comes out to empty the box and they tell us they can't take anything from us, they're not authorized, and then other times other drivers come out and say they can take stuff from us. So. He said he's going to tell them they can always take stuff from us. Uh, they're supposed to empty the box every two weeks, so uh, we're going to try to set up a two-week rotation. And um, I told him the ideal hours, you know, are from nine to eleven, basically, so that we can be ready for them. <coughs> and um, so he's going to try to set all that up with his dispatch people and see if we can get a more uh, predictable schedule with that. And. In response to that, uh, like yesterday, I was clearing out another shelf in the ramp room to make Salvation Army ready boxes so that when you go in there, you'll see boxes of stuff in there. Um, and 
Saturdays people can still go through those boxes, but basically they're ready so that if Salvation Army shows up, we can grab those boxes, put them on a scale and weigh them, and then give them to them, just like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because I, I, I think it will still be challenging, but at any rate, we had a good conversation about that. Do you that. want those boxes sorted by material yeah, so that you can weigh them? They don't, uh, well, ideally, yeah, non-recyclable and recyclable. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, that would be ideal. I mean, some Just of in case we do it on Saturday or something. Yeah. Yeah, he that explained that his longtime dispatcher um, had some health problems, so that's mm -hmm. part of why it's been a little wonky. Um, so, Bro. so, are we going to use these criteria, like assimilate them in, term, in terms of what we accept and what we don't accept, even if somebody else might, for instance, take uh, a track? Well, that's a good question um, because <coughs> they don't want it. Does that mean, so one of the things that he says, as he explained, he doesn't want anything with uh, a product recall. Well, they're in a little different situation because they're asking for money, they're selling things. So there is some kind of liability, there's much more liability. Mm -hmm. There's no money exchanging hands in our case. So I think, you know, we just had a jogging stroller who was out there with me the other day. We, we got a really beautiful jogging stroller in. And I think that that's the kind of thing that, that we should continue taking. If as long as they're in good enough condition or, and or recyclable, we don't have the same liabilities because there's no money exchanging hands. So yeah. um, we should talk about it. You know, right. I mean, and, and what are your thoughts, Matt? Well, I, I, yeah, and I think we can take some of that stuff. I mean, like, for example, with cribs, there's a new set of federal laws that was, was put into effect like 10 years, roughly 10 years ago. I have the information at home. And stuff before that you know, is basically unacceptable. And stuff after that is acceptable in terms of crib safety. So, you know, if somebody, and it has to do with the, the, the slats, how wide the slats are, how heavy the wood is. It does, it's not supposed to have a drop, drop down side, that kind of thing. And if you, if you know what those are and a really good new crib comes in, I would take it. You know, as long as it, it's acceptable by those standards, <clears throat> but but you know, it's helpful if you say to the person, "When did you get this crib?" You know, and you also have some of those things are very. You can just measure the you know the distances between the slats and that kind of thing. That's also though assuming that it's going to be used as a guide. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. true. A lot of us don't. I I have an old crib in my house that I put plants in. I mean, it's an old school crib, and I put plants in it. Mm. And there's no way it would pass any of the safety. Yeah, things. right, right. Well, then that gets into the question of how much space do a, a crib is a big thing. Yeah. And how much space yeah. do we want to devote to something that won't be used right. for its and, mm -hmm. and put signs on it that say "Don't use this for babies" and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's another question. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, um, yeah, no, and I think, I think, getting back to what you're saying, stuff like the blinds, you know, like. I'm, I'm really not sure we should be accepting blinds at this point because we have a pile of them that people generally don't take. People don't come out there knowing what size blinds they need. And they're cut to certain, I mean, we could keep a small number, but I don't think we should keep accepting uh, those um, for that reason. Likewise, stuff that requires assembly, I mean, I generally, if it's not a huge job, I ask the person to bring it in to reassemble it for us. Mm -hmm. And I find uh, most people will do that. Um, and it's much more likely to go than because people look at it and they don't know if all the parts are there. Mm -hmm. They don't want to deal with trying to assemble it themselves mm -hmm. and follow the instructions. So I think, I'm not saying we should never accept stuff that's unassembled, but we should keep that in mind that that's a, a disincentive. Matt, can you give an example of something that? Uh, well, people bring in, for example, these. There was a period where people bought a lot of these um, things to f put in your closet to make it more efficient. You uh -huh. know, oh. and to, you closet know, organizers. Closet organizers, and they we get a lot of those, and they're you know they people bring in a bunch of stuff with a piece of tape or string around it, yeah. um, and then it just sits there mostly. Um, <coughs> It could be reused for something else, but gen and, and they're mostly metal, so they can be recycled, but it's just something that um, 
doesn't have much curve appeal. But mm -hmm. you know, we have actually we have one in there now that's in the original box with all, and so it's highly likely that all the parts are there and the instructions are there. So I'm fine to have that. And again, I, I don't mind having a few, couple of these things around, mm -hmm. but to keep accepting more of them mm -hmm. when they're not going, I don't know. I don't think it makes sense. Maybe jigsaw puzzles. You should probably take them assembled. How many think jigsaw puzzles unassembled? Yeah, right. Yeah, that would be okay. As long as they swear that all the parts yeah, are exactly. Right, yeah. We have to keep a Bible out there for that. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, so anyway, those are some of the some of the things we were we were talking about with with Jared and got me thinking about our policies too. Would we want to like put a little tag on any of those kind of child items and say you know you may want to check this out or should we just not accept it at all? And it wouldn't them, them hurt website, at okay. checkout to have a little tent, you know, maybe tent folded uh, okay. thing uh, on the table that says, please be aware, there are some items that um, have safety precautions, we can't guarantee, you know, mm -hmm. that, you know, some, some kind of statement like that just to please, yeah, I don't well, know. Well, just how for their safety could. too. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And Couldn't Anna be. has a, she found a website that yeah. actually lists all of the strollers, I think, or car seats that mm -hmm. have been recalled. So there are websites that people can check. We don't really take kids' car seats, so mm -hmm. um, that's not so much of an issue, but, but. I, 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 I think relying on a tent on the outgoing desk is, doesn't really resonate. It's not, it's not going to make much of an impact. I think yeah. if you're going to have children's stuff with this question about you should probably have flyers with the same message that you would have mm -hmm. put on the tent mm -hmm. that we hand out whenever we're hand, you know, whenever people are taking questionable children's stuff. Or maybe we stick it on the, on the question. Oh, that's, that's, like that's, that's, that's a great idea. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Some kind of a little yes. something that can stick. Mm -hmm. okay. That would have a website they can go to. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, or not. Uh, we just say check the. Yeah, check the. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or reuse it like you're, you're, you're still using it for a nursery, just of a different type, your crib. Yeah. <laughs> right. A lot of children's stuff comes through. We had yeah. a pregnant woman yeah. I remember a few weeks ago, and she kind of was outfitting the whole nursery. Yeah. Nice. Very nice stuff that it just comes through. Right. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a natural right. constituency right. for reuse. For sure. Anybody else with recenter update stuff? Supervisors, people that have worked out there. Peter. Just the <coughs> tarps three quarters up. I mean Yay. it's up, but it's not I'm not satisfied with it being really, really wind um, secure. So I'm gonna put two more side poles on the uh, side of that. Yeah. Excellent, Peter. Uh, uh, are you gonna use the larger posts that have been against the back wall? Not not at this point. No. I'm but you wanna save them still? Yeah. They, they'd be really useful if they can slot into something bigger, but the bases I had were exactly the same size pole. I thought they were going to go over them. You know, there's a there's a there's cement. They just seem like a stronger post than the ones that you have outside already. The, than the aluminum? Yeah, I've got aluminum tent, you know, from camping. Right, right, yeah. But Are those the ones in the cement? Mm -hmm. They're so too heavy heavy posts in cement bases Four. in the back in where where the truck is parked and you didn't use those no those are um, the, those I bought actually bought, I got for the <coughs> for the front before we had the tent I was going to put those up permanently oh. for the summer right but we don't use them can we use them can I use them for the stop sign at the they're gatekeeper's hut they're huge Oh yeah, well they're huge. I mean, the, you you mean with the they're very big. And somebody asked if they could take them at one point, and I said no because I thought you were going to use I them for the side. I would love them for the stop signs because we need something that's very somewhat permanent <coughs> and removed for snow removal during the season. I thought they were for the side thing, and then I noticed that you were using something different. So I was just trying to figure out what's going yeah, on. Yeah, it was it was 
they, they didn't work for that. They were, as I said, they were going to be for the way the garage door goes up. So right. that would be permanently, it wouldn't go up with the garage door, but it would just be for the oh, summer. Wow. Sure, sure. Canopy. Okay. Can I have them? May I have them? Yeah, you've got to use them. Okay, I, I will check out they're and make sure tall. that I, they're, they're taller tall. than you would need, but that's you okay. Down. You can put the sign down lower so on yeah, the floor. Yeah. How tall, how tall are we talking, like eight feet? No, six, I think. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe eight. Yeah, maybe eight. Well, we can put little flags. It gives us room to, like, put banners and stuff. Sure. Yeah, they're heavy. They well, but they can be rolled. They can be rolled yes. once yeah. a year, right? Yeah. Excellent. Sounds good. Anybody else? Oh, yes. We have a few new uh, volunteers. Uh, we had one, uh, one work with you. Yeah, the other week, how did she work out? Great. And uh, somebody else came to visit who mm -hmm. was interested in volunteering and did she, she had come? never been. She did. She did come. She, she did must not, not have make herself visible to me. Okay. Okay. Well, she's from Sunderland and is interested she in volunteering. Visible. So we have about, I think, Pretty counting good. her, there's probably four or maybe even five new volunteers. We have. <laughs> Okay. Phyllis is one. Um, who is the? Uh, oh, okay. Any, uh, anyway, we um, there's Phyllis. There's another woman who's been there several times. There's the new woman that showed up yet last time. There's a woman from Sunderland, and I think that there's one other person who uh, I'm I'm communicating with that hasn't been able to make it out because of vacation. So we we have um, a good four 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 members. Yeah, it's been pretty full. The uh, yeah the number of volunteers Excellent. over the last month, Excellent. which has been great. Something I'm just saying per the, something to keep in mind. Dennis mm -hmm. will be stopping at a certain point. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, I think his hours are up like the end of September. I think or close. And um, he said he might be able to volunteer once in a while, but uh -huh. we won't be needing an, at least an extra volunteer. Right. Day. So, when so for the month of October, at least. When we had, uh, oh, I, I'm tracking his hours, and he has, I think, um, re into September sometime. Good. We yeah. should have him. We have him for 91 hours. And I calculated to the end of the season, and it's like 110 hours. So there's probably 20 hours in there, and Mac had said that there's a chance that he'll still come out anyway come, just yeah. to finish off the season. Okay. But next year, we can try to get in two of those, mm -hmm. um, or three, you know, mm -hmm. maybe we... More than three. Yeah, or as we said, we could ask him to come in 8.30 or 9, mm -hmm. and, and then lengthen the season by mm -hmm. saving That's some right. time. Because we don't need him as early as We don't have to have him at mm -hmm. 8, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So I think we're in good shape. But he managed well when you were gone, right? Oh. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> Dennis is such an asset. I yeah. love having that guy out there. Yeah. He is terrific. You, were out, you were out there recently supervising, weren't you? I've been a few times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, did you have, you and Diana, did you guys have any comments? Um, things are working pretty smoothly? No, it's great. Okay. Really great. I do want to make a, one a more comment. Sue, Carbon had some concerns about people blocking traffic in on the transfer station side. She said at one point on a Saturday there were three people deep in that drop-off only lane and that people were having trouble getting around maneuvering around them. So she asked that one of our volunteers keep an eye towards traffic flow and parking which we have talked about. It's just, it gets busy and it's exciting. And, you know. it, it happened, I was there that time. It, uh -huh. it, it, you know, it was at 11 o'clock, it was crazy busy. She reminded me, we got rid of the other cars. Okay. It really wasn't a big deal. Okay. Um, I had just a couple of other things. Yesterday when we were out there, there appeared to be new water stains on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, there was no sign of any standing water uh, or water on any of the stuff, but I don't know what that's about, but to just to, you know, it just look like mm. water stains that's on the floor. On the floor, the yeah. The main, main area. Yeah, yeah, the main area. Inside. Inside, yeah. Um, the other thing was, does does anybody know anything about an air conditioner that was dropped off recently? Yes. Uh, it does say fee paid on it. I checked yesterday. 
So they've paid the uh, the the Freon or whatever the twenty five dollar fee. Okay, so we can give that to somebody, but tell if we give it to somebody, we tell them the fee has been paid on it. So if they take it home and it doesn't work and they bring it back, they're not required to pay the twenty five dollar mm. fee again. Yeah, yeah that that it I, it does I'm work by the way. We, we tested that, it. but administratively, that might we might run into trouble with that. Um, paid to different people. Or yeah, I mean, it's just, it, and, and how do we track, and, you know, they might that's, bring That's a good old, point. They what, might what bring somebody their, else their, old, their old thing yeah. back and get it free. Right. You know, so <laughs> it, it's, it's hard. I want to think about that, think that through. Yeah, okay. But it could be a sticker you put right on it. Well, you sometimes the, yeah. there is a sticker that the gatekeepers put on it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. an official sticker. That says fee paid? Yeah. yeah well, it doesn't say fee paid, it's, but it's it's got the, it's, it's, it's the little triangle mm -hmm. stickers right. I used to put yeah. on garbage bag. Okay. And then when I, we've only mm -hmm. as we've only taken a couple of these in the mm -hmm. three years, but mm -hmm. I remember telling the people, leave that sticker on there right. so that yeah. if you do have to bring it back, you know, mm -hmm. we know that you have paid. Well, the what? Um, Somebody's paid. Just to play it out, worst yeah. case scenario, we don't tell them that. Then they would have to pay to have it. Right. And and would that be a big enough deterrent where yeah. they wouldn't even want it? Yeah, but it's a, it's just a, it's a difficult area, yeah. is what yeah. we're saying. Yeah. Because you could turn it on and it would work, but it may not cool or something. Mm -hmm. Well, the, yeah. you know, the famous thing is it worked the last time I used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Well, no, we, we yeah. turned it on to make sure that it was cooling uh -huh. right. when we took that. Right. So, yeah, it was it was in working order. Yeah. Well, so let's. At, at the next recenter meeting, let's try to figure out a way that we can market that it would that it would be somewhat permanent. That we, you know, if we're going to make that offer to people, we need to make sure that it's the same. I think right. you have to fly air by the gatekeepers, really. Right. They don't some charge the fee the next right. time. Um, and, so maybe, and maybe we need to put a date on the sticker. You know, because then what if they yeah, bring it back at later. the end of the season, or you know what I mean? It's just like people people will stretch. If you know, people will try to stretch it. So, I just want to make sure we we've, we've thought through all the. But we also want to encourage them taking it. You know, if you say you might have to pay a twenty-five dollar fee, regardless of whether somebody else has already paid it, they might well <coughs> cool to the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Not take it. <laughs> um, Susan, recenter location. Recenter location. Should, do you want to do minutes? Really? Oh yeah, let's okay. go back to minutes. Uh, comments, concerns. Um, <coughs> Peter, uh, John proposed it. I think in in a way that um, folks will get ten ten dollars off on their transfer station sticker. Residents. Um, and I, my proposal was originally that if we decide what the hours are, but if everybody who works out there, volunteers out there for a minimum amount, gets a free transfer station sticker, those eligible. Um, I think it's, it's a foregoing of um, revenue, but it's not an expense to the city. So, Are you cor correcting the minutes? Oh, I guess Recenter it's Recenter or transfer station sticker? Transfer station Center. sticker. Yeah, this says right. they get $10 right. off the transfer. But I'm, I'm going to propose that folks who on this committee and anybody volunteers. Oh, okay, but we're, what we're focused on right now is the minutes. We just want to get the minutes right. Okay, no, well, the way it's, I wasn't here, so I can't yeah. say Yeah, okay. So anyone that was here at the meeting, any concerns about the minutes? The July 13th meeting. I move that we approve them. A second to approve? Second. Any blocking concerns? Nope. All right. Moving on. Uh, now, Peter, uh, well, w we should come back to that as new business because it's uh, so recenter location. Yeah, so uh, we have we have never been overly thrilled about being so far from town and as we're talking about fix, potentially fixing the roof and <coughs> you know um, all this stuff it, it, it makes a difference I mean if for the city to invest 
money in making this watertight when they don't necessarily need a watertight structure, um, they, it would be helpful to know that we are happy there and can foresee ourselves being there for some time. Um, just for as far as use of resources. So as Mac and I were driving home, we were talking about the location and the pros and cons. And there are a lot of pros, and there are pros to being where we are, and there are cons. Um, so I just wanted to, as a group, talk about those to see, you know, it wasn't our original ideal location, but maybe it's better than we think it is, or maybe it's not. And so I, I thought just taking a few minutes to list the pros and cons that people can think of about where we're located um, and uh, would be useful for the group. I'm going to set up a it. pros and so, cons yeah, list. I'm do it right now. <coughs> Thank you. Um, May I make that comment? Yes, Ro. Okay. So when we were first considering location, we really wanted to do it here, and there were problems because of the traffic on Saturdays with, mm -hmm. with doing it here. I'm wondering, as the number of uh, paid uh, sticker users has has it decreased enough that that's no longer an issue? It hasn't. They, they it is stead, it is decreasing each year, but it's not. Um, it's not a significant amount. Okay. Where it's yeah, just, I mean it's, just had to ask. it's it's over time it's a concerning statistic, but it's not like we you know it's uh, not like you don't have to have the policeman in the right any Okay. Right. Yeah. So that's um, out. So but but we are now located at Glendale Road. There are cons is distance, for instance. That's the, our biggest problem, right? And it's inaccessible on foot. Yeah, not central. Well that's yeah. Is that the same as distance? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, what about lack of public transportation, right? Yeah. And bike lanes. I'm sorry, say that again. And bike lanes. You can't, it's just hard to get there. But then a, a pro and a con is a, it's a lot of the people who've been here for a while know it as the old dump. So I had a lot of people ask me, and half of them say, oh yeah, and the other half said, where is that? Mm -hmm. So that's uh -huh. a pro. Right. Yes. You know, some people know. And parking's good in general, right? Yeah. Out there? Yeah. And easy disposability of items. That's right. Like being right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah easy to specify. That's, that, yeah, that's good. Easy to, yeah. yeah. No illegal, there's no possibility of illegal dumping out there. Right. Uh, because we have gates out there. Right. And the big one is that it's now it's known. I mean, that is one. Yeah. Inertia. Yeah. I'd say a con is that it's uh, it's lack of heating, so you can't you can't do it all year. It's seasonal because of the type of structure it's in. I would actually add that parking is not adequate for it ever getting too Gen large. Getting bigger, right? Yeah, no, it can be a it's it's, it's yeah. a restraining factor. Okay, it's good for what it is. As long as it's right. however many cars. Five, six yeah, at a time. I'm, I'm not sure how to say this in a, in a word or two, but I think if we were to be more central, a downside would be we'd probably get a lot more people mm -hmm. and we'd get more pressure to be open longer hours, and I don't think we have the staff now yeah. to, to meet that demand, to meet an expanded demand. Well, we would get more staff. Possibly. I think possibly being public transport. People mm -hmm. who could walk and bicycle, so um, that might be the yeah. trouble with that. But I. Yeah, I don't think that's a definite though. I mean, yeah. because I mean, we've been open a long time out there now, and we see a lot of people who love what we do, but they don't want to volunteer. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Okay. Yeah, it I'm actually has been that. surprisingly difficult to get volunteers. <clears throat> I have been emailing people who've written down and, and asked to be volunteers. People don't get back to me, mm. and we don't have their phone numbers, so I can't follow up with a phone call. So. I have emailed probably 20 people, wow. um, yeah. and and people, you know, it's like they're excited about it. They think it's cool. It doesn't mean they're going to be committed to coming. So um, there may be a connection though between car availability and yeah. time availability. Mm -hmm. Bike available, bike, you know, mm -hmm. to bike there. People, and we just be getting more people by. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So would you say the size is, is good now? I mean, obviously if we got closer and we got busier, we, we would need more space. But do mm. you think we have enough space now as it is? If well, we, if well we there are space constraints, <coughs> that's a con. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. <coughs> Although, what if, what if we were able to take over the whole shed someday? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's, there is the potential for expansion. I mean, there's, you know. Yeah. Well, but we're talking about what the deal is now. Right. right. There are space right, right. constraints. Put down in pro known. Is that I mean, it's, there is something to be known. What do you mean? That we've been we've been the recenter for you know three years. No. Right, sure. Um, oh yeah. I mean that's. Uh, so the location is known. Yeah. yeah the whole. Th I mean, where we are and. Okay. I think well, it was enough versus advertising. when you change, there's it takes a while for people to make a change. So one, how, yeah. I'm sorry, what were you going to say? I just, I talked to a lot of people and I said the recent term is, oh, where's that? You know, so right. more, yeah. more than who know. One of them, um, what about the concept of that people are coming to dispose of stuff? So we're right there and it's easier for them to, they can just give it to us. Whereas if we were at a location that wasn't a transfer easy station, easy to dispose. Yeah, you have the easy yeah. to dispose. Yeah, yeah, that's well, it's easy for us, but there are two pieces to that. It's easy for us to dispose of oh, things okay. that don't move. That's yeah. been a, that's and been the main benefit for people for us, already there for that to location. Right. Yeah. So, but but we're yeah. people are already bringing stuff to this location right. to get rid of it. There's the synergy they of being connected to, to the to the transfer station. Right. right. Okay. Can yeah. I synergy. Kind of Synergy is a great word. Synergy with transportation. I mean, with done. Yeah. Like gatekeepers are an asset to us also. Uh, that's nice. We do There's work this places. location too. Right. So but this location isn't going to happen though. How are the gatekeepers an asset, Diana? I mean, I like them, no, I but they, work this they deal right. with the money, the so fee. Right. Aspect. They kind of pre-screen what's coming in. Yeah. They help they manage send what's coming over. in. Yeah. They yeah they they sort they do a little pre-sort. They're, pre -sort really, for they're us. really partners mm. for us in a lot of ways. Right. If we weren't there and we were somewhere separate, we would have to do all that. Yeah. Correct. Take the money and then we'd have to dump it. Well, we probably reject stuff. We'd reject a lot more stuff because we would just it. have to go somewhere else. Yeah. They'd have to bring and, it to the transfer. We wouldn't take stuff necessarily. And because of the synergy, would people bring stuff to us? Then, then we're going to be competing a lot more with the Salvation Armies and stuff because they they're already at the train at their they're already headed out to the dump to get rid of stuff. They might as well give it to us too. It's an easy thing to do. Whereas if if we were in a separate location, why can't I just have Salvation Army pick it up or or you know whatever? So. That's that. That's all kind of bundled with a synergy piece, I think. And that's something you've tracked: is the people who do both at the same time. We we, we, d we don't, but we could. I mean, it, it would be interesting to see how many people actually come to the recenter for the recenter, as opposed to people that come to right. the transfer station. Oh, there's a, a place that I can get rid of stuff. That's over here. I want to say a pro, not necessarily for the recenter, but for the city of Northampton, is that I I need to look at the numbers, but I believe this year we're seeing an uptick in um, sales of people buying transfer station stickers. A slight uptick because of the recenter. That more oh. people want access to the recenter and who have you know so that. Um, uh, how do I well, Mac, we've, we've def Mac, we've definitely seen an uptick in the number of people that are taking things. It seems like every week we're at a record or close to a record. It depends mm -hmm. on the weather somewhat, Being mm -hmm. having been there yeah. some rain. Well, I had a rainy day a few weeks ago, and as soon as that rain stopped, it was, yeah. we were cranking. The other thing, which is mm -hmm. maybe it's subtle, subtle here, is people come to go and throw things at the uh, dump, and then they notice us. So it's visibility mm -hmm. also yep. more than right. come, even they don't come there with us in mind necessarily, but visibility and they say, oh, this is where it is. Oh, next time. So it's like visibility to to potential to, to permit holders. You can yes. ask, how did you hear about us? Yeah. Right. Well, I've had people who've come and said, oh, this is where you are. Oh, I haven't been here before, but they were there for um, yeah. you know, jumping off a mattress. Sure. Or a simple exit survey. How did you hear about there? There's a um, yeah. yeah. There's a common thread between people that have a transfer station sticker that 
that bother to buy one because they know they're going to take things to the transfer station, those same people will be more attracted to a place like the recenter. Mm -hmm. So we have kind of a converted audience that comes to out there in the first place. So it's benefiting potentially. It's hard to measure, but we it definitely benefits us. I had hoped that that would happen, and I'm I'm getting an intuitive sense that it is happening, and we'll we'll be able to compare how many recenter permit a recenter permit that we've sold over the years, you know, because we'll never... Of course, all that would happen at the transfer station here as well. Right. Right. How or at another sure. visible right. location. Uh, Valley Recycling, for instance. Maybe they'd want to house us. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Isn't interesting. That's an interesting mm -hmm. idea. <coughs> closer to town? A lot closer to town. Mm -hmm. Well, in one way. I mean, since it's, it's in, in the front part of walkable. it. Walkable. East Ham, well, if we best if we're open to all towns, East Hampton's right next door. But that would be open to East Well, it would be a hike, but it's definitely walkable. I mean, from Smith College, it's, it's, it's really close. Is you there take, side, uh, are there sidewalks? No. I can, Probably not. I can tell you. There's Valerie's side. Oh, <laughs> the city wouldn't like that. That, that might be a hard sell. <laughs> so I guess what we, go to we need to do with these is consider. We can take our time looking for a place. That's that's right. number one. That's great, but we would have to find a place that would satisfy as many of those pros. Yes, that we can get. Yeah, and I mean the other thing we we invested a huge amount of labor in and time building and time in the recenter, and I personally can't imagine starting from scratch <laughs> in a space like that again. You know. Right. I can't. I couldn't do it. I don't think. Yeah. Um, and, and there right were there. there were like five or six of us that were out there like every Saturday and every Wednesday for a whole season. I have yeah. much more energy for that than the actual functioning of the place. <laughs> 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 we know you're like fine people like that. Yeah. Well, the only one of the only reasons to move is to get more people. I mean, that's the mission, right? Is to keep things out of the dump. Well, to be more central. But well, why the, that's the line more central, the so we can get more people, so yeah, we can get more, more, more stuff, stuff exactly. Out of well, to serve our community better. Yeah, right, yes. exactly. So yeah. we can fulfill our mission, which means having a bigger space. Yeah. Or mo mobile units. I still like yeah. the mobile yeah, units. Yeah, I mean, there are other ways. Very interesting. I mean, yeah, I, I think idea. it's important to think about what, what the real goal is, and there, there might be other ways to achieve it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we need more outlets. Like that's one of the main things. One of the main downfalls, I think, of our current situation is that we have stuff we have to throw away that could be used, but we don't have the right audience for it. I'm thinking of the old bookmobiles. Remember? What did you call them, uh, Diana? Mobile Out units. Outlets. Global units. Mobile units. Mobile. Yeah. Mobile. 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 Yeah. Globally mobile. Could we could reuse a mobile home. Well, the a other thing, the amazing. other thing that would be nice, um, I mean, while we're talking about things that we'd like to see, staff, would be to have somebody who could, uh, even just for a certain part of the year, look for more outlets for some of the stuff that we get. So, for instance, the crutches. You know, I know that Physicians Without Borders or somebody would take those crutches that we, and there's bajillions of them out there. Wow. So, you know, even just having one person do so something, you know, once a, once a year and just kind of call some places to try to find where else we can we ha have find a little mini team for this. If we got enough Absolutely. volunteers. Absolutely. I mean, we'll Jared it. was really inspiring. You know, um, maybe maybe that's Let's our next step is to... <laughs> well, what, what if all of our Smith Vogue events were drop-off points for reusable stuff. I mean, if, if in fact we have access to the recenter uh, afternoon on Saturdays with advance notice, mm -hmm. um, any event we have at Smith Boat can be, become known as a, as a drop-off point. But we have too much stuff at the recenter. So we'd have to be very small. discriminating. Yeah. We'd have to well, be we could do the opposite. We could have bring, bring stuff, stuff out from the recenter and to give have it free. Uh, Takeaway only event, you know, that's not a donation event. Well, but when we have the events that John does in um, October and April, maybe we should be doing that. Maybe we should be starting with stuff. We know people are coming to take stuff. People are specifically coming, so we should probably what about round stuff up. Well, we're not open in April, but in, in the October one, 
that's the perfect time. Yeah, because we want to empty. That's a great idea, man. Yeah. 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 But we yeah. don't want to truck. Yeah, but well, that, I've got a van. Truck. I'm I happy to be that guy. I have a van. Excellent. Wow. You know, for, um, and I would donate, you know, ten dollars, nineteen ninety-five, or whatever, for you can get these around town vans for nineteen ninety-five, um, just to do a you know, one-day thing. So oh, they don't end up with that. A little more tax on plus it. Plus a dollar, <laughs> dollar a mile. Um, no, six. It ends up it's less than a dollar a mile, and it's fifty something cents. <coughs> and then you need the volunteers. Yeah. Well. Well. I mean, Peter and I are both in the. The moving stuff business, oh, okay. so that's why it doesn't seem uh, that hard. It as long as the man's hard. not been used for storage. Right. <laughs> so we can, we can continue <laughs> this conversation, uh, but I, 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 I just thought it would be good to talk some of this out because um, it would be nice for me to be able to say to Donna, we really want that roof repaired, and we are. You know our th five year plan we can foresee ourselves being here for another five years and making it work um, that would give the city and Donna some peace of mind um, not peace of mind but they you know that, that would make it worth the investment if if we're going to um, decide that these are just insurmountable and that we we're just not able you know that we, we just don't think uh, I'm having trouble. <laughs> if, if, you know, you get my drift, right? Yes. Okay. Is there a strong reason why the truck has to be parked there? No truck. Scott's the truck? The truck adjoining the yeah. Well, that was, oh, right. we were granted hey, the Matt? annex. And if you we can were put not, stuff together on Scott a Wednesday was try to park before it John's of, event, it's, I can it's, come it's at 7 o'clock or 7.30 the day of the event and pick, pick up whatever you have. Yeah, he, yeah that would um, be possible to do. He so, tries you know, to just on leave Saturdays, something that tells me what I'm supposed to take. Well, and then I'll just come and get it all. That'd be great. Because I usually get this event at 8 o'clock anyway. Right. 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 Keep talking about that. Possibility. You were thinking about what, in terms? Using the truck space as a permanent usability for us, uh -huh. expanding into the expanding uh -huh. the yeah. water and, uh -huh. and opening some daylight into the existing expansion right. like a dark closet. Well, that's because of the lighting which we've been waiting well, on because of the roof. I know. Right. I, I was just trying to see if there was some really logical, strong reason why the truck has to be there. Yeah. And his opinion is a strong reason. but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's not just his opinion. I mean, it's it's a well, I know. our That's our our equipment that right. is of value. We try to protect from them. But it's such an obvious opportunity for expanded space. Right. And, right. and and the surprise to me in in seeing this laid out with Grow and Town mm -hmm. is how good the location <laughs> is. Mm -hmm. That it's hard to it would be hard to find another place as good. Mm -hmm. to, forget about better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there's some there's some benefits that we have not been focusing on, I guess, is, is one of the things that came of our conversation. Um, and I was with Mac in the car. And, and we wanted to see if you guys felt the same way. And um, I think we even have more, we have more cons and more pros. Um, but when you do pros and cons too, some of them are weighted. It might be an interesting exercise to kind of weight them and say, you know, this is a con. But it's major not Susan, let's let's move on to community repair because we're getting short on time. Okay. And Roger's got to leave. Okay. Um, Roger, did you want to address community repair? Well, we had the we had the meeting. I was there by phone. Uh, do you have the notes? Did you did you send that? Out? I do. Okay. I do have the notes. If you, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah. So. We are doing pretty well. We, it would be, it's proving a little difficult to find more repairers. We were hoping to maybe double the, even double the number of repairers. That's still our goal. Um, and David is on it. I have sent out emails to people from our various email lists and we've been knocking on a few doors. A couple of the people are not able to come from last time. And we've gained a couple as well. So right now we're hovering just about at, with the same number, uh, but we have 
four weeks to go, and hopefully we'll be able to beat the bushes a little bit. You have pedal people on your list? I have pedal people on my list. Coming. I'm sorry? That's coming. Oh, are, did, they, did you yeah, speak Ruthie, with them? Yeah, Ruthie is, is coming. Okay, so I haven't and spoken to Sean. she's bringing a second person from Philly. Okay. If you guys are aware of another knife sharpener, we could really use another knife sharpener, and probably electronics, electrical people are, are the most in demand based on our last experience because of all the lamp, lamp people. Big Y does <coughs> knife sharpening for free. Really? Does what? Uh, Big Y does right. knife sharpening for free. Right. Wow. You bring in your yeah. knives and they'll sharpen. That's a great service. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. yeah. So just advertising that. Yeah. yeah that's a good Now if we advertise that, that's maybe we can good. hit them up for some free food. Um, well, we wanted to bring Big Y along as a sponsor. For all, all right, I'll, I'll contact them because I'm doing food stuff. Yeah, Did Betty have, Bogus. You want to talk to me. Did you had a darner? Had the darner gotten back to you? The darner did not get back to me, and darn I don't it. have a foot. See, that's, that's part of the. <laughs> Perfect. I don't remember it. the name of the darner. <laughs> she um, she had expressed interest. I don't have a phone number for her. I can call Northampton Wolves and get her that way, but I have sent her two emails now, and she has not responded. So that was kind no, of I don't What's her name? Here. Yeah, I don't, I I don't know. know. Okay. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah. Brennan. Mary Brennan. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. if I could kind of run into, I'm thinking of going to Webbs and asking the same question. That wouldn't be crossing. See if they had any money. Well, I think we should contact. If you could, would you be willing to contact Northampton Wolves? And, and I can try that again. Yeah. That would be great. Okay, while well, you're away, I can try yeah, that. Yeah, because I, I have not made the phone call. I just had uh, sent her some emails. Going. So there was um, something I read, some idea of putting more emphasis on the training of the community, in other words, mm -hmm. making the repair, not just to bring you stuff, but how to, in other words, the, the four sewing people who were not very busy, right. quite a bit. Because we didn't advertise sewing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, <coughs> I could easily see them teaching a couple of people on, you know, two, here's, here's your basics, and, in other words, how to, how to repair, emphasizing the teaching. But I don't know with your uh, repair cafes whether that's something they do or not. They, I, I think they do if the repairs have the time and the inclination to teach. Mm. If, they, if they're natural teachers and they really want to and someone's mm -hmm. got the time to sit down and be patient enough, but if they've got a line out the door of people waiting to get stuff done, they may not want to take the time to mm -hmm. go through stitching. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, you can get more people served if they can all do their own stitching, but then you better have a lot of band-aids. <laughs> yeah, we spoke about this at our last meeting pretty extensively because of the guy that uh, had called from um, Fix It, I Fix It. Yes. And, right, so we've talked about this a, a little bit. He, I mean, he's... His uh, focus is to try to train people as much as possible. He does it at Smith Road. Right. He, right. he does classes. No, you're, you're talking about someone else. This is guy, somebody from Berkeley, California. Oh. So the, the uh, you're thinking of Stan the Fix-It man. Stan the Fix-It man. Right. Yeah. So the I fix it guy, it's a, it's a national thing. And he, fo he, he feels that teaching people is important. And I don't think we disagree with that. Right now, we're having a trouble getting enough fixers to accommodate the crowds that we are getting or could get. So um, to, to now tell them, we, oh, by the way, whether you like it or not, we really like it for you to teach people. That's a whole other set of skills that some people will have and some people will not. Some people just like to fix things. What if at the event we had a little sign-up sheet that mm -hmm. had an hour slot, like four one-hour slots, and fixers could sign up for that slot. And during that time, they take a break from their table and they do a demo mm -hmm. of something that they're mm -hmm. good at. And yeah. whoever is waiting in line can watch that demo. And that's a great idea. Yeah. Once we get a lot of fixers, I think that's a beautiful idea. Yeah. yeah. I just so you know, the guy in Greenfield was advertising for fixers. So it's not it's not necessarily an easy thing to find fixers. This is the guy who has a lot of buddies who are fixers. He has yeah. And so he he, he put a he put a Facebook post out looking for fixers like we have. Mm -hmm. Ben Goldberg had a couple ideas about people, people who might want to do it. All right, so I'll I'll touch it, Ben. 
good. Do that's a, it, because it seems like that's the kind of idea we'll have, we'll have, have a tipping point if you get enough people trained. Yeah, down the line. Down good. the line, there's a tipping point where you get enough people trained and you have more fixers and then you get Absolutely. Your people needing fixing. Absolutely, I love your idea and, and have a combo. But it's, yeah. it's yeah. getting that to end. And then if we fill those slots, we do. If we don't, we don't. Mm -hmm. No, I was going to say, does anyone have a camera that so we can capture the yeah, test Yeah, I have to take a floor? picture of it. Well, That's okay, I, I have one. Yeah. Video I'm camera, really yeah. Down, yeah. Video camera, right? Mm -hmm. well, well, I get this. So this something we, can we can capture that, yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Home or has Stan been sitting and being contacted? I contacted him for the first one. It never really panned out in terms of him actually showing up at all. I'm, I'm going to contact him because he's a... He's a great he, guy. He does work for my business, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask him to do it. Great. Yeah, because he, he teaches it, so yeah. he's a, he'd be a natural. Mm -hmm. And he might know people too. Mm -hmm. And it's a busy time of year for people I'm finding. So yes. um, the we had another, so Jamie had a friend who is amazing at, and he's working at the Big E, you know, so which is the same weekend. So Every weekend is a busy time of year. You're always going to lose people for different reasons. And yeah. speaking of the next meeting, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the September 21st is Rosh Hashanah. So I'm not sure you want to okay. do it on that date. Okay. 14th is better because it's 14th, 14th is just before the yeah. repair, repair. So I thought that would be the perfect date. What about uh, October? Do we want to set October yet? Because we have we have a, a lot of stuff going on. In October. Mm -hmm. John, what's the date of your event? Uh, November 5th. Mm -hmm. So I pay October. When's the tax set? 10th. 10th. I think the 9th is Monday. I don't know, okay. What day of the week is it? Oh, wait, November 5th is a Sunday. Are we doing it on a Sunday? No, October 1st. November 5th. October 1st. Well, What's the Saturday? It's the 4th. Yeah. 4th. Oh. And it's till noon, right? Yeah. Good night as well. Records. Let's see. So we've got in October, there's a, what, the 12th and 19th? <laughs> the rally's the 4th. October? The uh, tag sale is the 7th. Okay, what is it? That's Saturday the 7th. Okay. Rain gauge is the 14th. So what's, what's it, what rally? The recycle rally. The recycling, our fall recycling rally. What is Where that? we collect pumpkins and bicycles and styrofoam. And, and that's what date? November 4th. November. Yes, okay, I thought you were saying October. Okay. Yeah. So you're yeah. looking at an October meeting at this point? Well, it's the 12th um, to the 17th for October. Looking at October, so what's the second, second Thursday in October? Is that good? That's fine with me. Yep, that's good. Okay. Um, before we adjourn, I wanted to have make sure that we noted Peter's comment about what we discussed at our last meeting regarding the volunteer incentives that he wanted to put out there that people could get, residents could get a free transfer station sticker and not just $10 off. And if it's new business, um, we, we need a method of having petty cash, I feel. Petty cash where? For, for anybody in the group uh, uh, committee to be able to go out and buy, you know, $25, $30 or something, having <clears throat> a, a, a cash fund, so you don't have to go through getting Debbie to go to Florence Hardway to buy 14 screw eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not me, I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, Roger, anything else about the repair? No, I think we've, you know, we've got the basic stuff in order. We've got some volunteers, we're hoping to get more sponsors, and we've got a location. Uh, volunteers, or do we have any... Uh, is, that, is anyone here working at the repair? Barbara, Roger, Diana, Diana, are you going to be a fixer? Or whatever we need. That's what we need. That would be great. Um, excellent. I'll be there first. I'm going to be out next week, but I'll be back on the 29th, I think. Starting tomorrow, you're leaving, so, right? Yes. Uh, where are you going to watch um, the eclipse from? Sorry? Where are you watching um, the eclipse? Outside of Bend, Oregon. 
You going for that? Yeah. Yeah. We have family there in Bend. Perfect. So we're just going to be us and all the 300,000 of our closest friends. Right? <laughs> a million, I think. Free, free hat. Anybody on a free hat? What's it, does it say anything? So, no, it doesn't. It's, it's a hat without a logo. Wow. It's available. Oh, you can bring it up. Is it enough? Uh, <laughs> is there a motion to adjourn? Second. 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 Second.